Town Council finishes the fiscal 2013 budget on this episode of Barnstable Today. It's Friday, June 22nd, 2012. I'm Sarah Colvin. Well, Town Council is all done with the fiscal 2013 budget. Before the Council began its budget talks, however, scholarship awards were handed out. Town Manager Tom Lynch announced this year's Martin J. Flynn scholarship recipients. It's not just an award that one can uh, get in the senior year of high school. This is something that uh, applicants can apply for uh, through their four years uh, of college, and we certainly encourage them to do that. Benjamin Cohen uh, is... Uh, Personally attending uh, Norwich University, uh, he's awarded a $500 scholarship. Um, Autumn Harrington is going to Bryant University next year. She's a new recipient. Amanda Kennedy is going to Emanuel College. She's a new recipient. Uh, Ariana Levesque is at Framingham State University. Uh, she couldn't be here tonight, but she's well represented by two of her sisters. Uh, Mikhail Post is going to Marist and he's a new recipient. Kelsey Rudick is presently at the University of South Carolina, and Ryan Swim is a Northeastern University a student at this time. A council subcommittee is working to reconstruct minutes from a committee meeting last summer. Two councilors who served on that committee are no longer part of the council. James Crocker is one such councilor. He spoke during public comment last night. Good evening, my name is James Crocker Jr., uh, former council from Precinct 5. And I come before you tonight to talk about a little clarity in the first response of the Attorney General's actions. I think first what we need to talk about is the process and the thing that is lost in all the newspaper articles I saw is that when this uh, former council put aside bipartisanship, there was an actually a correct vote. We voted that we understood the terms of the open meeting law, we knew they didn't meet the guidelines, and the vote was correct that it didn't meet the guidelines. The um, Attorney General went on to take a look at the minute-taking process after that, and uh, clearly I have to take um, a share of blame for the minute-taking process. The minute-taking process uh, and an ad hoc committee is spelled out to you there in your orange sheet. Ad hoc committees, uh, the minute-taker has to be a member of the committee, so only a member of the committee. Secondly, the minute-taker has to report the findings to the um, clerk and to the town councilor. And I was the minute taker through that process. I was the minute taker the very next day when you see those timestamps where I delivered my report to both the assistant, uh, uh, to the town clerk and to the um, council uh, representative at that time. But the, the town's legal department is working with that council subcommittee to reconstruct those minutes. Among the many budget items to approve last night was the regulatory services budget. Director of that department, Tom Geiler, made a brief presentation. What we've done is uh, had some changes in, 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 in process. That, uh, uh, we've been using a parking service where the uh, uh, payments were made as a compensating balance so that the, the vendor kept uh, uh, a monthly amount equal to their charge and there was no, uh, no charge, direct charge to the town. The new vendor, uh, and at the request of or the suggestion of our auditors uh, uh, to change this to a normal process of, of uh, monthly check and monthly payment and issuing checks uh, has caused us to, to appropriate in advance that money that that uh, uh, so that's added twenty eight thousand one hundred and fifty dollars to uh, to the budget um, there's an additional fifteen thousand that was added for the, the the costs of uh, vaccines uh, we have we have been receiving from the state vaccines uh, for free of charge for a long time uh, uh, the state has advised us that they are no longer able to do that and uh, the vaccines most of those go to our elders the, those people that are most at risk uh, it, it's it's a it's a program that we value, uh, and 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 that fifteen thousand dollars will keep us in that business. Any of you that have been through our flu clinics, for instance, uh, uh, nobody on the Cape does it, but nobody in the state does it like we do it. it uh, Tom's uh, Tom's crew will put you through those. You don't get out of your car. You uh, just, just stick your arm out, and we got you. It, uh, <laughs> uh, it, it, we make it as easy as possible for people. A lot of the people are are, are 
have a difficult time moving around. They're, they're, they're elderly, it, it, it's winter. Uh, so we do everything we can to make this as uh, uh, efficient and, and, and pleasant for those people that, uh, I don't know how you make vaccine receiving needles pleasant, but uh, uh, they work on that. Um, we have uh, a hazardous material inspector that has been funded for the last five years from a grant from the Cape Cod Commission uh, related to, I believe it was the, the, the construction of BJ's. That grant has expired uh, and we've asked to continue that. That position is, is, is uh, critical in our wastewater, uh, in our, our groundwater protection efforts. Uh, we believe that it's uh, something that's very, very important and uh, that we've proposed for funding that through, that, through, through the additional budget allocation. Um, there is a, 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 a an allocation of, of resources in within the consumer affairs division, and that alignment took uh, uh, about almost three quarters of a FTE out of the weights and measures fund uh, uh, in, into the general fund. That uh, that position will be serve, will, will be providing uh, more services in the licensing area, in the parking area, and the non criminal and lesser uh, uh, in the, in the uh, Weights and Measures area. The budget was approved. Prior to the discussion about the Community Services budget, the Council approved a change to that department. The Community <coughs> Services Department has five divisions, um, Marine Envi Environmental Affairs, Recreation Leisure, Leisure Services, Aquatics and uh, Youth Services, Hyannis Youth and Community Center, Golf and Senior Services. And the changes in the Administrative Code reflect um, the new five divisions and reporting directly to uh, the Director of Community Affairs. And that's the uh, ordinance that you uh, see there. The, uh, the Youth Services has been moved from a standalone division and incorporated uh, into uh, the, this division It'll, and it will provide more structure for them. Um, the code has been updated to incorporate the programs of the uh, Eisen Youth Center, which are operated out of uh, the HYCC, of course. Um, with the golf division, the code has been updated to include the addition of the Hyannis Golf Course. And with Marine Environmental Affairs, the code has been updated to have a fourth marina um, and that both marinas and Sandy Neck are now enterprise accounts. So no substantive changes were made to senior services. The community services budgets were also approved. The council gave the nod to all budget items on the list last night, including budgets for administrative services, town council, and the town manager. The council ended the meeting in executive session. I move that the town council enter into an executive session for the following purposes to review and approve the executive session minutes of the May 10th, 2012 and June 7th, 2012 meetings, and to appoint a member of the town council to review and approve the minutes of this, the June 21st, 2012 executive session meeting, and to not reconvene in open session. Hold on, we have um, town attorney. Thank you, Mr. President. If you can just add to that motion the for the purpose of the initial executive session, which I think was contract negotiations with um, Thomas K. Lynch, if you can just add that to the motion, I'd, I'd appreciate it. Thank you. What she said. You may. Just what she said. No. For the purpose, I'm sorry. Um, the, the purpose of those, the original purpose of those executive sessions were to conduct contract negotiations with um, the now town manager, Tom Lynch. And if I might, before we, we go into executive session, I can say that the following executive session minutes are ready to be released. And that is the town manager review committee, uh, all of them, them except for the June 15th, 2011 subcommittee meeting and those minutes are being worked on. But the um, April 25th, 2012 minutes, the May 2nd, 2012 minutes, the town manager, Contract Subcommittee of March 29, 2012, April 5, 2012, uh, May the 3rd, 2012, May the 24th, 2012, and May the 30th, 2012. Those are all um, ready to be released. We'll have more from that town council meeting on Monday's Barnstable today, plus scenes from a very hot morning over the water pollution control facility where the two wind turbines and solar array were officially dedicated. By the way, the town's beaches officially opened this weekend. You know where I'll be. For now, with Barnstable today, I'm Sarah Cole.